A three-run fifth inning for Maryland, backed by a Zach Martin home run, propelled the Terps to a 4-3 victory over Rutgers. It was a pitcher's duel for the first two innings. Nick Dean, who led up two runs in the day, recorded two strikeouts in the first inning. The third inning is when the action began, with Rutgers' designated hitter, Max Martin, hitting a triple. And then he would score on a sack fly. In the bottom half of the third, Elijah Lambert got the Terps' first hit of the day. But the inning ended on a double play. On top of Dean's five strikeouts on the day, he was also strong in the field. Action picked up for both sides in the fifth inning. With two strikes in the count, Martin added to his triple on the day, hitting one over the wall. For Maryland, it was the designated hitter on the other side, also named Martin. In just his second start this season, Zach Martin, his first home run of the year, tying the game for the Terps. Baseball is a beautiful game. Zach Martin has not really had a meaningful at bat this year. And you have Petrutz and Woods both go down, his number gets called. Luke Schliger gets hit by a pitch, but sloppy base running leads to Nick LaRusso's home run with just a solo shot. Dean's last inning of the day was smooth. Yeah, after the homer, you just kind of have to have the mindset like, oh, I threw it at your barrel there, like you got lucky, and just continuing to have confidence with every pitch. In the seventh, both teams brought in new pitchers, Kenny Lippman for the Terps and Joe Mazza for the Scarlet Knights. With a one-run lead, Maryland looked to add some insurance. A sack fly from Lambros gave the Terps a two-run lead, heading into the ninth. That lead would immediately be cut in half because Evan Slight hit one out of the park on the first pitch of the inning. Then, controversy struck. Andy Axelson was initially called safe, but after a conference, he was called out. The final play of the game made it look like we would have extra innings, but Lambros made the catch in deep center field to end it. Maryland will be back here again tomorrow at 12 p.m. with Kyle McCoy on the mound looking for the series sweep over Rutgers. From Bob Turtlesmith Stadium, for Terrapin Sports Central, I'm Brendan Weissel.